Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about multiplying rational numbers. Last time, we have a little video wherein we talked about how to add or subtract rational numbers. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here are examples of multiplying rational numbers. And by the way, guys, in multiplying rational numbers, you can do or you can apply the, ro the rules on how to multiply integers here, wherein you will deal with positive and negative signs. So let's try number one. In number one, we are given 2 over 7 times 3 over 5. Basically, guys, when we are multiplying rational numbers or fractions, what we are doing is that we are just simply f multiplying the numerators and the denominators. And it goes like this. So we have 2 times 3 over 7 times 5. So as you can see, we have 2 times 3, which is equal to 6 over 3 times 5, which is equal to 35. And after multiplying your numerators and denominators, what you need to do is to express your final answer in lowest terms. So what we have here is 6 over 35, wherein I'm pretty sure that this fraction or this rational number is already in lowest terms. Okay? So let's move on with item number 2. In number 2, we are given 5 over 9 times negative 3 over 4. Again, 5 over 9 times negative 3 over 4. Let us multiply the numerators. We have 5 times negative 3 over 9 times 4. So as you can see, I can directly multiply 5 and negative 3. It will become negative 15 and 9 times 4, which is equal to 36. But I can see something here that we can simplify or we can cancel out like 9 and negative 3. 9 and negative 3 have the same or has the same common factor which is 3. So we can cancel out 9. It will become 3. And this negative 3 will become negative 1. So what I'm doing is cancellation to avoid the numbers become bigger because it's difficult for us to simplify the numbers if the fraction is a lot bigger compared to this one. So as you can see, we have 5 times negative 1, that is negative 5, over 3 times 4, which is equal to 12. And as you can see, negative 5 over 12 is already simplified. Therefore, this is the product of 5 over 9 times negative 3 over 4. Guys, uh, this one is negative because we are multiplying a positive rational number by a negative rational number. In integers, meron tayong rule na kapag unlike signs yung dalawang integer or numbers, automatically the product is negative. Now let's continue with item number 3. In number 3, we are given here a negative 5 over 7 times 9, which is yung 9 natin is a whole number. So we can rewrite this 9 or this whole number in fractional form. And it goes like this. We have negative 5 over 7 times this 9 will become 9 over 1 in fractional form. So we will multiply the numerators. Negative 5 times 9 over 7 times 1. So negative 5 times 9, that is negative 45 over 7. So this one is the simplified form. And the final answer in number 3 is negative, five, negative 45 over 7. Now let's continue with item number 4. For number 4, we have negative 3 over 7 times 14 over 5. Same process. Multiply negative 3 times 14 over 7 times 5. 
And if you're going to observe our numerators and denominators, as you can see, we can cancel out 7 and 14. Okay, their GCF or greatest common factor is 7. So I can cancel out 7, it will become 1. Your 14 will become 2. And then as you can see, bumaba ba yung numbers natin? We have negative 3 times 2, which is equal to negative 6 over 1 times 5, which is equal to 5. And that's it, guys. So I hope, guys, you learned something from this video. And I will give you an assignment wherein I will ask you to answer number 5. Wherein the given here, number 5, is simply 13 over 6 times 18 over 91. So I hope guys na makita ko yung sagot nyo sa mismong item number 5 natin sa comment section. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!